All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be looking at, I guess, realistically just one of the most pathetic things I may have ever seen. Now, this will be taking place at a Call of Duty LAN event, which if you don't know what that is, basically, it's like a little tournament setup IRL where there's setups and stuff, you know, you register with a team, it's all done basically in-house at the same place, uh, it's not like game battles or anything where like you're competing over the internet, like you're right there in person, the other team is pretty much right across the table from you. So this is, I guess, getting into the realm of esports here, if you uh, want to go ahead and I guess label it that, but keep in mind this is like one of the lower tier things in at least Call of Duty competitive right now. Before we get into this video, I want to preface it with saying that I went to the Call of Duty Championship in 2018. That was during World War II, uh, and that was my first and so far only esports event that I've ever attended. It was actually really fun. It was a pretty good time, and the people in that did not act even like remotely close to how these guys are acting. I mean, those were actual professional players, like you know, Optic. You had like Clayster and everyone on E United. We're talking about legitimate professionals or whatever. But even the fans and stuff like that were not like this. They did not behave this way. It was for the most part a very respectful enjoyable event to go to but then you get down into the lower tiers of everything and this is how people behave now don't get me wrong there's you know shit talk and whatnot in the actual cod league but i mean this is i think going above and beyond the call of duty no pun intended of course but i want you guys to go ahead and witness a little something here that might go ahead and destroy your faith in humanity i'm not sure but go ahead and take a look always always Two and seven? I'm the best on land, you fucking suck! Don't forget it! Okay, um, first and foremost here, I, I just want to say, you're at a LAN tournament, okay? You, you're not playing for anything serious. At most, you're playing probably for what, a couple hundred bucks? Split between, like, five of you? Or I, I don't know if COD's 5v5, 4v4, whatever it is anymore. I really don't, I don't watch it anymore, but you're getting fucking worked up over your water bill. Like, congratulations, bro, you, you're gonna play seventh total in the tournament because when some legit good players run into you and fucking wipe you all over the floor you're gonna look stupid but i digress anyway uh just looking at this video i'm trying to imagine what that room smells like i'm trying to imagine what kind of aroma might be building up inside of that enclosed area that, that doesn't look like a very big place it doesn't look like there's much air going on we need a little airflow in here, uh, but it, it just, from what I can see, I'm picturing like four days of no shower, uh, a mile run mixed in with like vinegar, pickles, and like four days of garbage. It just, it can't smell very nice in that room, to put it very simply. Yo, bro, you realize you're playing a video game, right? You realize that yet? No? You haven't gotten it? Other dudes screaming wearing a Bagel Bites shirt? I don't know who ever told you that that was an acceptable decision. You're, you're wearing a fucking Bagel Bites shirt, bro. Like, don't say anything to anybody. You went out of your way to buy a fucking Bagel Bites shirt and wear that to a Call of Duty event screaming. Like, what's really going on here? What's going on in your life that makes you behave this way, man? These are the, the, see, like, Call of Duty game chat, right? I, I've been a big proponent of it for years, right? Of just that toxicity. Shit talk that's not meant to be taken serious online. You know, I can understand it. And the reason that I don't get upset is I know that most of the time these are the people fucking screaming at you. But, like, you're being recorded in public. Like, you're not in your bedroom anymore. There, there's, like, why would you behave this way? I, you know? Because, like, I, I'm going to confidently say these kids probably did not win this LAN. Uh, the people behaving like complete fucking morons. They, they probably did not win this event. I mean, in a lot of these LANs and stuff, actual semi-professional COD players will go. So I would imagine they got wiped. But even if, right? Like, even if you were in first place, like, I understand talking shit. I really do. I get being competitive. But once again, you are in public being recorded. Okay, why? Why Why would you put yourself in this predicament? I'm not sure, but... Q, 
Keep in mind, this was a local LAN event, and these guys are screaming, jumping into each other's arms, like, throwing their hands up as if they just won, like, the fucking Call of Duty World League Championship. Like, way these guys reacted, right? You would think this team just stacked up against fucking Optic Gaming 2013. Like, they're acting like they just played, like, Scump, Clayster, Nade Shot, Formal. Like, they just played some of the greatest COD players of all time or something. And, uh, once again, these are, like, 18-year-olds coming from their parents' bedrooms in a lot of these circumstances, right? Like, if you're, if you're one of these guys' dads, right, and you see this video, how do you feel? Like, how do you react to fucking seeing your kid act this way at a Call of Duty LAN event? You know what I'm saying? How, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Do you take the PlayStation? I, I don't know, but... Like, tell me these guys jumping around didn't look like they're filming the worst music video of all time. <laughs> Bro really just ran around the corner. Knocked a whole fucking monitor down, by the way. Probably broke that, I think. Like, I'd be pissed, right? You bring your fucking $400 monitor to this gaming event and this motherfucker running around knocks it down? Like, what are you running for, dog? You won one match. You're playing Call of Duty, bro. Like, let's settle it the fuck down just a tad bit. Let's turn it down, okay? Like, I, 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 okay, so here's what I'm starting to hypothesize. Let me break this down for you. I'm thinking this is how kids turn out when their parents don't hug them enough, right? Like, what sort of fucking validation are you seeking? where you're at a Call of Duty LAN event, making a complete fucking fool out of yourself, and for what? Doing what? What are you benefiting from this? Because if you were looking at GoPro, right, any organization that now sees you on video acting this fucking way is gonna distance themselves if they're reputable. Everyone thinks you look like a fucking clown behaving this way. No one takes you seriously. No one thinks that you're tough. Like, you're wearing fucking Bagel Bites shirts screaming in a fucking closed-in area playing Call of Duty. Like, I'd be wearing my mask simply so I didn't have to smell that fucking room. But, like, your parents could not have been good to you for this to be the way that you behave. Like, your parents had to have been so fucking not there for you that, like, you need that validation of other people whose parents weren't there for them. This is what I call fatherless child syndrome. And I know I'm sounding pretty harsh, but, like, on a very serious note, like, if you're taking video games this seriously and you're not making fucking money doing it, like, enough money to pay any of your bills or anything, like, you really need to fucking reevaluate your position, bro. What the fuck were you saying we were gonna Now, I, I don't mean to be that guy. Uh, I let, let that footage kind of play, I guess, all the way through there toward the end of the video here. If they behaved this way to literally anybody who wasn't one of these fucking Call of Duty players, they would be laying on the floor picking up teeth. One tooth? Two teeth? Three teeth? Four. How many more teeth before I can go back out the door? Like, you'd be picking your whole fucking fronts up out off the floor. I mean, if these weren't a bunch of people who just are used to behaving this way and playing video games like this and, and being fucking doing this shit, they would either not be behaving this way or they'd be having some medical bills. I, I'm not sitting here trying to be some tough guy or anything, but can you imagine if they did this to somebody who was actually like 6'4", 250 all muscle and played like football or something? They'd Yeah, it, it'd be over. And a little fun fact here, uh, you remember our Bagel Bites boy here, Triple B as I'm going to call him for the rest of this video, Triple B, according to the comments under the video on Twitter, was exposed and admitted to cheating, actually. So, you know, he pretended he's so fucking good at this event or whatever, right? He's so talented, but then got caught cheating. Uh, does it even... It, you literally can't write it better than that, bro. The loudest ones in the room are often the most insecure. And that, that principle really adds up here. So I, I think this is where we're going to cut the video, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, I guess. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subtoptimus.
Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, just, uh, and signing out.